Greetings! Finally I have all the parts necessary to make uh, my Blackmagic 4K pocket camera um, work on a gimbal from Scion, the Scion Crane Plus. And this combination is a little bit tricky because I have a particularly heavy lens and it's necessary actually to uh, mount the camera in a way that's not initially going to fit on a Cyan Crane Plus. The Pocket 4K camera has the mounting pole so far at the side that if you mount the camera properly, so not upside down but properly on the Cyan Crane, you can't reach the screws of the mounting pole of the camera. Um, everything is in, in the way, so you need a cheese plate or a cage to compensate uh, for this um, offset that you need to create. As soon as we have mounted the camera actually on the Cyan Crane Plus, then we run into another problem and that is that the lens might be too heavy for the Cyan Crane to balance it out. The arm can't be um, moved out as much as necessary to bring the camera in balance and this means you need to create some extra weight um, at the arm and this can be achieved actually with a clamp so I'm going to show you here a clamp that's actually has some extra weights that you can attach to it um, that works actually quite nicely and depending on your uh, lens that you're going to choose it might not be even necessary because the lightest lens that I'm using is uh, light enough to uh, work without any extra mountings but in general i think it makes sense to have have something like this because it's it's really the uh, one of the lightest the, one of those pancake panasonic lenses and in general people might have different models that are going to put more weight on this far end of the camera and disbalancing the gimbal to a point where it can't um, hold uh, against it anymore to stabilize it Alternatively, you can use pretty much anything to attach it um, to the gimbal and create some counterweight. But of course, um, those smaller weights are nice since they're not using up much space. Now that we have mounted the camera on the gimbal with this cheese plate, how um, heavy can the lens be that you can deal without any extra counterweight on the gimbal. Well, um, the pancake weights around 100 gram and maybe you can go to almost 200 grams and it might still work, but definitely the next um, lens that I have to try out is a Lumix uh, from 14 to 140 and this is weights already 300 grams and is way too heavy for the gimbal um, to support without extra counterweight. And I'm actually going to use mostly a Kova Promina 8.5 millimeter, which is quite hefty and weights um, a little bit over 500 grams. So it turns out we definitely going to need this counterweight. There are little counterweights that you can apply 100 gram or even 200 gram. You can screw it onto this little clamp and it's uh, doing the trick nicely. I'm not sure what is better to uh, mount only 100 gram and extend the arm to um, fully outwards or to actually put on a heavier counterweight of 200 gram and move in the gimbal arm a little bit. Well, actually it doesn't matter so much anyway, I guess, because in terms of mobility, I'm already very restricted on the Scion Crane Plus. I can't move um, freely in any direction as I would do with a very um, with a smaller camera and smaller lenses, uh, since every arm is already um, extended to a point where uh, moving around might uh, create angles where I'm bumping into other parts of the Cryon, uh, Zion Crane. That's something uh, to know as well. If you're, even if you make it work, it's not as comfortable as it might be, uh, as it used to be maybe for you and the smaller camera. I'm used, for example, to use it with a um, GH4 camera. And this is a pretty ideal size and weight that this device uh, puts on the Zion Crane. So I'm not too keen to um, advise anybody to buy specifically this um, 
this gimbal for this camera. Actually, the gimbal is slightly undersized for, for the task. But let's make it more ridiculous and actually mount the cage to the camera. And there we can see that the, it's really cramped and it's really heavy. Without the cage, we are already reaching uh, 2,500 grams. But now that the cage is um, applied, we are actually going beyond 3,500 grams. And if I'm even crazier and apply a monitor or some external light, <laughs> we are going through 4,500. So it's, it's barely manageable anymore to carry this around with you. But it was fun to try out and uh, see it in practice. So, as you see, I actually the most simplest one with the cheese plate is the one I will go um, if I'm going to mount the camera on the sign.